As for the third ranked women's team, they had a bye week after Syracuse when unable to make it to Duluth. So instead of a home opener weekend, the dogs head to New York to take on a non-conference foe in the Colgate Raiders. The dogs are still barking after sweeping number one ranked Ohio State in Columbus two weeks ago and are now faced with another road test. They will be well versed again as they haul two WCHA players of the month with them. Freshman forward Caitlin Kramer was named the league's player of the month, while Ed Gasson was named WCHA goaltender of the month. The Bulldogs have never lost a Colgate in program history, and Coach Schuler used this extra week of practice to hammer home the details. Fortunately, the games didn't happen, but we ended up playing an inter-squad game and got to you know, go over different uh, specialty team situations for us, whether it was 5v6, 6v5, 3-on-3, stuff like that. So in essence, I think that weekend allowed us to even better prepare in order to go into this weekend. I think we have a really resilient group, obviously, when we first heard the news. It was a bit of a shock, but we bounced back. We heard about it right before practice, actually, and then we wound up having a great practice right after that. The Bulldogs took off today for Hamilton, New York, and are set to face off against Colgate on Friday and Saturday. Puck drop for game one is at 5 p.m. And while we're on the topic, Amsel Arena was announced as the host of the 2027 Women's Frozen Four. It's the fifth time that Duluth has hosted the event. They last hosted in 2023, where Wisconsin won the national championship. Two of the previous times in 2003 and 2008, the Bulldogs won the title on home ice. And to this day, they remain the only collegiate team to ever win the national championship at home. So we can only hope 2027 brings another mm -hmm. national championship.